Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to give my review over The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Now, at first, I heard uh, that this was supposed to be called, like, The Real Housewives All-Stars or something like that. Um, that was a rumor on the street, right? I think we pretty much all heard that. And then, um, of course, they clearly changed the name or that problem. I don't know if that was really the name or or what, but the name of the show is The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. And I have to say that I actually love this show. Like, I didn't think that it was going to be this because even when they announced who was going to be or it kind of got out who was going to be on the show, even I was kind of like, girl, that's who they put for this. Like, I wasn't really necessarily feeling the cast, right? I was just like, uh, okay, whatever. Um, but I think they've done, from what I see from the first episode, I'm in love with the show. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, so, basically, they have Kenya and Cynthia. They're from Atlanta. And then we have Melissa and Teresa from New Jersey. And then we have Ramona and Luann from New York. And then we have Kyle from Beverly Hills. And of course, if you don't know, um, I really just started, I've always, well, I feel like I have to say this all the time, um, but I've always known about the other franchises. I've always kind of like peeked in and peeked out, right? I've watched episodes here and there. I've known about all the girls from, even from Gretchen back in the day on uh, OC. But I never really paid attention. I, like, I've never sat down and watched, like, a full season of a franchise, except for, like, Atlanta and Potomac. Um, I just got into Beverly Hills um, like that, like, watching a season last year. Um, also, New Jersey. Um, so, I'm starting to get into the other franchises. So, I know who these women are. Um, but I'm not really, I, re, I really don't know about their personalities like that. Besides like the reviewers who I listen to who review the shows, um, me personally, I don't know that much about them. Um, so anyways, um, the show starts, <laughs> the show starts and, um, they have Ramona, uh, Ramona calls Teresa a scarecrow. <laughs> now, I do know this much about Ramona to say Girl, you are the last person that should be calling anyone a scarecrow. I'm going to go ahead and say this, okay? I understand that this is a TV show. That's why I try to give the girls a little leeway. Because I understand this is a TV show. They have a job to do. They have to entertain the people. But I don't know how I feel about Ramon. Um, Ramona really does remind me, like, you know how, like, we make jokes sometimes about, like, the rich white woman, like, I just feel like Ramona is one of those women who, like, she's just a rich white woman, like, literally a rich white woman who has no regard for anyone else, um, she doesn't care about anybody but herself. Um, girl, whatever, whatever, I, whatever, whatever name comes out of my mouth, that's who you are. Like, she doesn't care. Roderick, Kevin, James, John, like whatever name comes out. Like, even when she called, poor, even when she called Kenya Portia, but she says that she only, the only person she knows is Portia. Well, if you know Portia, then why would you call Kenya Portia? So I was thinking, well, maybe she's just doing this just to kind of like get under Kenya's skin, right? I'm like, okay, she's just doing this to get under Kenya's skin. But then they show the flashbacks of her really just calling people just random names. So I'm just like, and maybe I'm triggered because it's this white lady I worked with. And mind you, what I do, I work in logistics, the logistics, right? So, I'm, anyways, I'm walking around the whole entire store. So, everybody knows my face. This lady has been working in the cosmetics area for at least three or four years. Girl, why has this woman come to me and asked me to ring up something before? Girl, I'm not no sales associate, and you should know that. You've even assisted me a couple of times. 
One time she told me about, could I do something about someone stealing? Was I LP? Girl, how is it that we have been working with, with each other for this long? And you have even assisted me in looking for items before. And you think that I am loss prevention. You think that I am a sales associate. And you... Sh girl, I'm getting mad. Girl, see, I'm getting mad. Anyways, girl. So, I just feel like Ramona is one of those type of white people. Like, I really think that Ramona is probably like a horrible person in real life. Um, I think that Ramona... Um, only cares about herself and a certain and a, a, only like a small percentage of people, her friends. You see how she said pretty much like my friends just give me my room. They just give me the best room because I'm Ramona. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Mauricio fine fine ass is on my TV screen. For those who don't know, Mauricio is my man. Um Michael is the concierge. Is it concierge? Um, he is a cutie patootie. Um, so the girls, uh, the girls are calling Cynthia, asking her about Kenya. Um, clearly Kenya, the word on the street is I am the word on the street. Come on, Kenya. That should have been Kenya's tagline. You know, one thing I will say about Giselle, she get on my nerve, but I think that is one of the most, one of the most iconic taglines and housewives history. The word on the street is I am the word on the street. <laughs> I don't care what that does. That's what I'm going to put Giselle with that tagline. Other than that, maybe she can say where she at. Um, so, Melissa. You can tell Melissa is trying to get the mess started, right? So, she tells Teresa that um, Ramona called her a scarecrow. And... I don't know if Teresa is dumb in real life or what. But of course, Teresa is... I mean, yeah, I don't know if Teresa is dumb in real life or what. So Teresa is just kind of like... Okay. Right? Like, girl, we trying to get the party started, Teresa, girl, right? We, you know? So then, of course, she's like, you know what I'm talking about? She was like, no, I don't, I don't know what she was talking about. So they talk through that and she says that Ramona is like the tin man. The tin the tin man didn't have a heart. But I get I get what Teresa was trying to say because it's a tin man. So why would they have a brain? But no, that wasn't his that that wasn't the tin man's thing, girl. So anyways, girl. Um The girls arrive at the jet. Uh I kind of cringed a little bit when Luann touched Cynthia's hair. Did y'all see that when she she was like, how long did this take? Or something like that. I was like, okay, Luann, girl. Um, so they get on the jet and Ramona says that New York put the housewives on the map. Now, girl, 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 Ooh, Ramona. Now, I know that OC was the first one, right? But no, 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 Ramona, no, 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 baby. That was Atlanta, baby. Girl, that was Atlanta, baby. You know, that Nene had a hand in that ride, but no, 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 girl. No, no, girl. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not going to... Now, like I said, I don't watch the other girls like that. I know the other girls is here, but... <clears throat> no, they, they want y'all want to be the it girls, but y'all were not the it girls, sweetie. Atlanta were those girls, and they still are those girls. I don't know any other franchise that was pulling in three million, four million views at once upon at once upon a time. That was Miss Atlanta. That was Miss Georgia Peach. Um. So Cynthia. That bitch. <laughs> Gonna tell you, I did not know what Cynthia, I honestly did not know what Cynthia was about. The first thing that popped in my mind was Cynthia is about to cut this picture. And when Cynthia cuts this picture, everybody, including Kenya, is going to die. And Brooklyn is not going to have a mommy. And Lisa really going to be taking care of Brooklyn. Because if she cuts this picture, Kenya is going to tear this plane up. <laughs> Do you hear me, girl? So, 
Cynthia walks out with like a poster sized picture of Brooklyn, which is Kenya's daughter, and a big pair of scissors. What is this bitch about to do, right? So she goes on to explain that this is the first time that Kenya has ever left Brooklyn. Um, which is the truth, you know, since she had Brooklyn, uh, she came back to the housewives, especially the housewives. Um, but period, basically, she's never left Brooklyn alone. Brooklyn always comes. Um, you remember when they tried to make a big deal out of Brooklyn coming on a girl's trip and the girl, she had, already, like, she had went to the, on the, the girl's trip the year before her and, uh, Portia's daughter, but they made a big deal. Girl, anyways, girl. Um... So, basically, it was her way. Then she brought out a piece of ribbon, and this was kind of like Kenya's way of cutting the umbilical cord. You know, kind of like, okay, girl. she, You know, you're, you know, basically, like, girl, at one, at one point, you was going to have to leave her one day, right? Um, so, you know, Kenya starts to cry, and she also lets it be known that Kenya's going through a divorce, and um, they, she thinks that they should consider giving Kenya the master bedroom. When I see everybody was looking like, and I quieted this cow, I was low key with cow. Like cow said, bitch, what's that cow? Bitch, kind of like, bitch, we all could be going through something, right? But, I mean, I guess, girl, she can't have it. I mean, I don't want to be no bitch about it, but I mean, I guess. Um. So Ramona starts talking about, uh, I think she started talking about the, the restaurant that they were going to go to when they got there. Um, and the white guy, he actually looked like he did have a nice body for his age, especially. Um, but the guy, I guess, that she knew uh, that owned the restaurant. And she was talking about how, I guess, when she met him, she was going through a divorce and she was flirting with him. And Kenya just kind of mentioned, like, so you were flirting with him while you were married? <laughs> You're the first thing that popped in my mind was when she was flirting with Apollo. And Apollo picked up and threw it in that water. And y'all was calling her Kenya Hart, Kenya Hart more forever. But anyways, she says, you were flirting with um, the guy you're married. And then it kind of transpired from that. And she was like, bitch, keep up. Right? <laughs> I don't know why she called Kenya a bitch. All I know is I saw Kenya stand up and it went to commercial break. And they say, you know, I saw white fish. Maybe white flight attendant was running. <laughs> Girl, white flight attendant was running to the back of the plane, honey. Girl, all I, all I know is Kenya started cursing at Ramona. Girl, I don't know how y'all do it in New York. Girl, this is not what you want. Girl, I say yes, oh. yes, Kenya, get it together. Um, they pretty much kind of let it go. Um, so I thought it was kind of funny when Cynthia, Kyle, and uh, Kenya were in the car and they were headed to the house and they were talking about who they got along with. <laughs> and Kenya started saying, oh, I get along, you know, with Cynthia, Candy, Marlo, Latoya, Fallon, Kyle said, pretty much everybody but Portia. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so I guess this must have been around the time where they probably thought that Fallon, so to me, I felt like that was probably around the time they probably thought Fallon was going to be on this season. Because she mentioned Fallon. And she I don't think she would have mentioned Fallon if Fallon wasn't going to be coming back, right? But I guess that was before Portia decided to leave the show. Anyways, so they arrive at the house. The house is absolutely gorgeous, right? Um, they uh, are greeted with, you know, drinks. And Michael is there to, you know, greet them with the staff and... Ramona leaves and goes into the house. I don't think I, I don't think I like Ramona. I'm, just, I'm trying to give Ramona a chance, but I don't think I like Ramona. I, I really think that it, like Ramona just. I don't know. I just don't think I like Ramona. I really don't. Like she's too entitled for me. Um, I think she's rude. I think that she just doesn't give a damn about people period. I think that she does things and it's just like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll apologize. Like, even with Cynthia, like, Cynthia should not have to pull a 65-year-old woman to the side and then coach you on what you need to say to the group. 
like that lets me know that that she really like you're not that removed from reality where you should know how this works. I don't know, girl. I don't. I'm gonna try to give Ramona a, tr a chance, but I just, I don't know. I, I just don't think I like Ramona. <laughs> like. I think she's rude. I think she's entitled. I just, I, I'm going to try to give Ramona a chance. Um, I will say Ramona definitely looks great. To be 65, she looks great. Um, so anyways, Ramona goes into the house. Everybody else is outside. She goes and picks out a room. Girl, she starts to, she, girl, anyways, girl, they come in. Um, you know, they're picking out the rooms. Kyle basically says, girl, <laughs> girl, Kyle basically let the girls know, girl, I'm not about to fight over no room, girl. Girl, we have beautiful homes in LA. Girl, I, I'll just sleep down here. <laughs> I said, come on, bitch. Um, so basically, they go back. So Cindy is like, this is not fair. Like, Ramona basically, girl, you have the the most fucked up attitude. And girl, you think that you should be able to pick your room before anybody else gets a chance to pick their room. So they go up there trying to get Ramona. But Ramona done took her clothes off. She in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I think Ramona came around that corner, <laughs> she was she had that she had that, that shower thing and she was just sitting sitting there spreading her body off. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, I did holler on that. Um so um So basically the girls are downstairs eating. Basically they're just eating. Uh, Ramona comes downstairs. She has on a thong, some pasties, and like a little see-through, you know, little dress, whatever, girl. I mean, like, that wasn't a big deal to me. Y'all on vacation. Girl, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, whatever, you know. I, 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 don't, I, think they, I don't think they made a big deal. To me, in my opinion, they didn't make a big deal out of, it, out of it. It was just like, oh, Ramona has on a thong. Does she got to do this? She got on a thong and some pasties and a see-through dress. Well, that was pretty much it. But, I mean, girl, you on vacation. Girl, it is what it is, girl. Um, so, um, oh, so they're getting ready for dinner that night. And Kyle sees that. Um, was it Melissa? Somebody, I think it was Melissa said that somebody is online. Basically, somebody is feeding somebody the information about what's going on on the trip. Like, they literally had word for word what's happening. Like, Kenya and Ramona got into it. Ramona called um, Kenya a bitch. And I think they said something about fighting over the rooms. I can't remember if they added that part. But the part, the parts that they did have... Um, the guy, whoever wrote the, the, I guess the, you know, the leak on Twitter, they pretty much had word for word what had happened so far. So they're like, how would someone know what's going on when we just literally just like, we just started the trip. Um, so they started looking online and they saw that Kenya had a picture with the guy and she was also the only one that followed the guy. So the, of course they think it's Kenya, which will make sense to me too. Um, they pretty much go out. They 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 ask about Kenya. Basically, says it wasn't her. Um, Ramona apologizes for her bad behavior. They call her the apologizer. Um, Cynthia again pulls Ramona to the side to talk to her. Yeah. I mean, girl, like I said, girl, Ramona is sixty five, bitch. I have no business pulling a sixty five year old to the side to tell them what the fuck they did wrong and why the group feels this way, right? Like, Ramona just doesn't give a damn. Like, okay, girl, I'll just go over here and apologize. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. What's next? Bitch, I am who I am. Ramona is 65. Ramona is not changing. Um, so then, after she apologizes, Teresa brings up the Scarecrow. So what about the Scarecrow? Girl, Ramona was all in... <laughs> It was all in Teresa's face. Even Kyle was like, girl, get closer. Like, girl, you're really in her space. Anyways, after that, it was all good. The girls danced. Kenya did the, did a split on the on the beach. It was a little cute. You know, it was it was a cute way to end that night. Then they had Housewives after dark. Melissa was in the shower. She said she don't like to use fragrance. 
on her uh, on her coochie. I heard, I don't know. I don't know. That's not my area. That's not my expertise. But I heard you're not supposed to use fragrance stuff on your coochie. I heard it's supposed to be. I heard your coochie really is not supposed to have a scent to it. Period. Like a coochie should just be a coochie. <laughs> like, cause I think I could have sworn I heard either Dr. Jackie or somebody saying that before. Like a lot of people have this misconception of like a coochie is supposed to smell like strawberries and roses and peaches and cream. Like no, a coochie is supposed to just be a coochie. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, girl, um, Ramona. I think Cal was talking about her body image issues. Cow girl, you look great. But girl, Cow literally like she was starving herself. I think I saw like three pieces of lettuce on her plate at one time. Girl, what I see y'all gonna get. One thing I noticed about the girls in Beverly Hills, they don't eat. But baby, them hoes damn sure drink. Do you hear me? Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna watch the second episode and I will be back later with the review over the second episode. I didn't even know the shit was coming out as early as it did. I thought it was supposed to come on today. No. I thought it was supposed to come out on Thursday, the 18th, but the episodes have already came out. The first three episodes have already come out. I heard it's only six, but the first three have already come out. I'm like, girl, when did this, when did this happen? So anyways, all right, I'll be back. Bye y'all.